Welcome to Mel Bear's Weird and Wonderful. Today I'll show you how to make this delicious caramel inspired resin tumbler. I put out at least one new video every week, so please subscribe. If you enjoy the content, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Alright, so today we're going to make a caramel coffee inspired tumbler and we're going to start off with a metal tumbler. I bought these at Michael's. They are painted black and I have sanded them with a light sandpaper to get started. And I'm going to use 20 ml of epoxy resin which I have already mixed and we're going to use a variety of dyes, um, alcohol inks I should say. We've got white, um, black orange and red i may not use much of the red and i've also got a metallic alcohol ink as well i'm not sure if i'm going to use this yet but we're going to see how it looks as we're going along so first thing we're going to do is we've got the cup and the turner and the first thing we're going to do is coat the whole cup in the resin you just smooth it on the cup make it nice and even throughout the whole cup and then let it rotate a bit so i'm not going to video this if you guys really want me to make a video on this let me know but for the most part you just smear it onto the cup so it's even and then um we'll get going on to the next part all right so we've got our cup completely covered in the resin and now we're going to start dripping some of our inks onto the cup. And I like to do this not in drips, but more like little flicks. I find the drips just get a little too heavy. All right. And this one I just put on there was the red. And now I'm going to do the orange. All right, now we're going to add our white. And I think we are going to add some of our uh, metallic white as well. Yeah, we're gonna let that turn for a couple minutes and see what it looks like. Um, I do want to pull it off the turner as well and kind of let this get a bit of movement to it. I find if you just let it go around on the on the turner, it just gets kind of boring looking pretty quickly. And I'm gonna add some other inks to this as well while we're doing this. Much of a mess I can make. <laughs> All right. 
right, now we're gonna put it back on the turner and try not to lose any your resin while you're doing this. Okay, now I've also got some black here, and I think I'm going to add a little bit more red and black as well while we're doing this. black as well. With these tumblers, you pretty much just let them spin and then when you're not happy with something, add some more color to it. And just keep adding until it, pretty much just how it looks like you want it to look. All right, so now we're just gonna let this spin for probably about half an hour or so, and I'll come back to it and make sure it doesn't need any touch-ups, but it looks like it's going the way I want now, so we should be all right. I want it to look very mottled and, and pretty. Let it go one more turn around. It looks perfect right here. It's exactly how I want it to look right here. The other side still needs to spin a bit, although it's going to spin until it's cured anyways, but this side needs a little bit more more work maybe, or just let it spin for a bit and see what it does. It's just spinning it, the colors change so much, and even if uh, you take it off the turner for a minute and let it 
the colors change that makes a big difference too you just want to make sure you don't lose any of your resin off the cup okay, and I'll be back all right so we've let this spin for about half an hour and I think the colors are pretty much what I'm aiming at so I'll be back tomorrow after this is cured to show you guys what it turned out like And here is our finished tumbler, and I absolutely love it. It makes me want to go and get a caramel drizzled coffee. It's really, really pretty. It's very shiny. I really like it. You can see each side of it here. I just love these alcohol ink tumblers. They are really fun to make, and they're very, very easy to make. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I put out at least one new video every week, so please do subscribe if you enjoy the content. It really does help build the channel, and thanks so much for watching.